We've got all the news you need and more. We still have here with us members of the national women's football team who just won the title at the AFF Women's Championship. Dadalo si President-elect Bongbong Marcos sa Asia-Pacific Economic Cooperation o Apex Summit sa Thailand. Ngayong No Smoking Awareness Month, alamin natin kung paano tuluyang magkukwit. A South Commuter Railway linking Metro Manila and Laguna goes full steam ahead. All eyes on Mount Bulusan in Sorsogon Province. State volcanologists say it is uncertain when the volcano will erupt again. Panawagan sa pagtanggal ng buwis sa langis sa pagpapatupad ng dagdag pasahe sa jeep, umaaray ang mga commuter dito. It's all systems go for the first State of the Nation address of President Bongbong Marcos at the Batasang Pambansa on July 25th. Humingi na ng saklolo ang grupo ng mga panadero. Apektado na rin daw ang kanilang industriya. Ayon sa Labor Department, inaprubahan na ng National Wages Productivity Commission ang 50 pesos na dagdag sahod. Maaaring baliwalain ang mga simpleng pananakit ng katawan at pangahati ng balat, pero paniguradong makakaapekto ito sa pang-araw-araw na gawain. Naglalakad patungo opisina, sabay sasakit ang paa, nahuli-tuli sa oras. Rumoronda sa trabaho nang biglang sumakit ang ulo, na antala tuloy sa pag-ikot. Sumagot ng telepono nang masamid sa ubo. Ahem! Masayang nakasakay sa kotse habang papunta sa pinaka-aabang ang bakasyon. Tapos inatake ng pagkahilo. Nako! Namundok para masilay ng mga bituin, kaso napapak naman ng lamok. Hala! Naglalaro ng paboritong sports nang biglang magalusan. Hay nako! Mahimbing na natutulog nang bulabugin ng iyak ni Bunso dahil sa sakit ng kanyang chan. Paano na? Buong araw na gumawa ng gawaing bahay, o kaya na may namukid maghapon, kaya't sumakit ang buong katawan, lalo na ang likod kinagabihan. Talagang kahit anong ingat at lakas mo, natural lang na nangyayari ang mga bagay na ganito. Buti na lang, may katingko ointment. Ang katingko ointment ay nagbibigay kinhawa sa sakit ng ulo, sakit ng chan, ubo at sipon, at iba pang mga sakit ng katawan. Tulong sa pagpapakalma at pangangati at sa mabilis na paggaling ng mga kagat ng lamok, ipahid ang katingko ointment sa mga apektadong lugar tatlo hanggang apat na beses sa isang araw hanggang gumihaw ang pakiramdam at tuluyang gumaling. Siguraduhin laging may bitbit na katingko ointment at hindi mo alam kung kailan mo ito kakailanganin. Katingko ointment, tulong sa pagbigay ng ginhawa sa sakit at pangangati.
Hello and welcome to this special episode of Art Made Public. We started this year trying to debunk the many stereotypes about being a Filipino artist. From Walang Future sa Arts, we rewrite the narrative to say that there is, in fact, a boundless future in the arts. And today, we call on all creatives to step into their limitless potential. From branding, networking, building your portfolio, finding the right groups and programs, we'll talk about all the tools and skills you'll need to build a career in the arts. Join the discussion by leaving your comments and questions, and you could be the lucky winner of limited edition made merchandise from our advocacy partners, Bio, and K-Essentials by Katinko. Participants who are able to complete the lectures may also request for certificates after the event. Helping us empower creatives is our premier media partner, Rank Magazine, and May would also like to thank our media partners, Adobo Magazine, Art Plus Magazine, CNN Philippines, Canto Creative Corners, Panay News, and The Philippine Star. So welcome everyone to today's event. To welcome everyone to today's event is our guest of honor, the representative of the 4th District of Pangasinan, the Honorable Christopher Toth de Venecia. To the Board of Trustees, Advisors, and Officers of the Metro Bank Foundation, to the 2022 MAID Board of Judges, to the 2022 MAID Awardees, ladies and gentlemen, Masantos yung kaagawa na tsikay namin. Greetings in creativity. May I commend the Metro Bank Foundation for your indefatigable contribution to the development of Philippine art and the creative industries. Your Metro Bank art and design excellence programs not only highlight but reinforce the indomitable spirit of Filipino creativity, which has truly withstood the test of time, especially during this pandemic. I share your steadfast belief in the power of art, culture, and heritage to influence positive change, foster hope, and strengthen love of nation. Fellow creatives, dear friends, we meet in a historic moment for the creative industries. For this September marks the inaugural celebration of the Philippine Creative Industries Month in compliance with now Republic Act 11904 or the Philippine Creative Industries Development Act which lapsed into law last July 28. It mandates government support for the promotion development of Philippine creativity by protecting and strengthening the rights and capacities of creative firms, artists, artisans, creators, workers, indigenous cultural communities, content providers, and other stakeholders within the sector. It will also enhance the global competitiveness of the local creatives to make our country more attractive to the international market for creativity. With the enactment of this landmark piece of legislation, the creative sector has become a cornerstone of our country's post-pandemic recovery, an accelerator for economic progress and a catalyst for modernization. For many years, Arts, culture, and the creative industries have been institutionally neglected despite their enormous potential to contribute to economic development and provide massive livelihood and employment. The Creative Economy Council of the Philippines official data show that in 2019, the creative sector comprised 4.8 million creative Filipinos or 11.3% of total employment, most of whom are in the freelance sector. It has historically registered an annual growth rate of 12% based on the census of Philippine business and industry. According to the World Intellectual Property Organization and the Intellectual Property Office of the Philippines, the copyright-based industries, which are synonymous to creative industries, contributed 7.34% to our country's GDP back in 2014. UNESCO said that creative industries have reduced global poverty by 14.7% in 2018, citing the wide-ranging and more accessible jobs to youth and women that the sector offers. The Asian Development Bank pointed out that before the onslaught of COVID-19, 
In the creative economy, broadly encompassing knowledge-based economic activities underpinning the creative and cultural sectors and bridging art, culture, technology, and business was on pace to account for 10% of global gross domestic product by 2030. It underscored that the revival of the creative economy is critical for realizing an inclusive recovery that boosts MSMEs and employment for women, youth, and other vulnerable groups in Asia and the Pacific's rural and urban areas. My fellow creatives, dear friends, I said earlier that arts, culture, and creative industries have been institutionally neglected despite their boundless potential to contribute to economic development, the battle against poverty, and nation building. Now we have laid a foundation for the new chapter of our economic and social engagement. Now we have regained command of our fortunes. Indeed, as the French novelist Victor Hugo said, there is nothing more powerful than an idea whose time has come. Thank you. And hashtag the future is creative. <laughs> Thank you, Congressman de Venetia. Indeed, creativity is the strength of our nation and artists are essential in building a better life for all Filipinos. But success in the creative industry does not happen overnight. What makes it even more difficult is that there's really no guidebook on how to be a professional artist. So today, we invited some of the industry's most successful practitioners to give us a little guidance on how to kickstart and establish a thriving career in the arts. Our first guest, Mr. Charlie Ko, is a prominent visual artist and recipient of the CCP 13 Artist Awards. He's a co-founder of the Viva XCon, the long longest running biennial in the country, and also the co-founder of Orange Project, a contemporary gallery in Bacolod City, actively promoting local artists. Joining today's discussion is independent curator, writer, and cultural worker, Ms. Lisa Ito. Ms. Lisa has been teaching art history and art theory at the University of the Philippines College of Fine Arts since 2012. She is currently the Secretary General of the Concerned Artists of the Philippines and a member of Young Critics Circle Film Desk. Also with us today is 1988 and 1992 Maid Awardee and recipient of the CCP 13 Artist Award, Sir Elmer Borlongan. Sir Elmer is a contemporary painter celebrated for his distinct use of figurative expressionism. His works are considered as one of the most sought out pieces in Southeast Asia. Magandang hapon, Sir Charlie, Ms. Lisa, Sir Elmer. Good afternoon. Thank you po for accepting our invitation to join today's Quintuhan. Um, as we have repeatedly mentioned, we've got so many requests to do today's episode. And with your participation, we're finally making it happen. So maraming maraming salamat po for being here and choosing to spend your afternoon with us. So we'll dive right into the conversation. Um, siguro po, let's begin with the getting to know each other. Um, can you share po how you were first introduced to the arts? So siguro maganda pong simulan natin with Miss Lisa. Very recent, relatively recent. Pero um, I was introduced uh, to the arts by means of a very simple uh, gesture. Uh, yung lola ko, she had a boarder uh, at that time who was a student at the UST Fine Arts. Uh, tinuturuan niya ako mag-drawing and that's where the interest in taking up fine arts began. Uh, mahilig na ako magsulat noon but this this very simple act of teaching a kid how to draw, uh, siguro yun yung tinuturing ko na, ano, na, na uh, introduction ko to to um, going into the arts. Then, of course, eventually I pursued art school, UP College of Fine Arts, uh, which has an art history uh, and art education program. Um, and because I thought art history would be a good uh, combination of things that interested me, which was the fine arts, uh, writing, and history. So, sa loob ng school and sa labas ng school, eventually I got the 
the chance to um to to do research and write for art galleries and that's where it started thank you Paul. how about you sir charlie how were you first introduced to the arts Paul? uh with a pencil and a paper <laughs> I've been drawing for, you know, since bata, gusto mag-drawing. Uh, well, hindi ka pa nga alam ano yung art eh. Artist, artist eh. Basta feeling ko, I, I've been been doing the creative. I've been, we have, uh, in the family, we have the furniture business. So I would uh, uh, deliver furniture on big houses and I would see uh, sansos and, uh, you know, um, manansala. So it also gave me a, um, uh, a beautiful uh, starting point of uh, looking at uh, uh, great works. No? Um, but at the same time, uh, I studied fine arts in LCC uh, and then met with the group Familia Pintura, 1980, when I got my first, first year college in La Consolación. So that introduced me to the group of artists uh, uh, with Noni Alvarado heading the Familia Pintura. So it started really from that uh, Familia Pintura encounter that uh, developed and um, I pursued uh, art up to now. Thank you, Po. How about you, Sir Elmer? How were you first introduced po, to the arts? Oh, uh, sa family namin, wala namang mga artists. Eh. So wala rin akong idea kung ano yung profession na yun. Um, kasi mga kapatid ng father ko, pag nagbabakasyon kami sa Bulacan, Ang exposure ko sa bukid, mga, mga tito ko, mga farmers. Um, pero mahilig kami nung bata pa kami, mga kapatid ko, mahilig kami mag-drawing, ganun. Makopya kami sa mga, mga magazines, tsaka sa mga libro or newspaper. Tapos yung tita ko, uh, doon na lang siya ano, nakita na pinakilala kami kay Fernando Sena. Nag-workshop ako noon sa kanya every Saturday. Uh, I was uh, 11 years old. So all throughout high school, uh, nag-aral nag, nag sa kanya, tapos naging assistant niya, nagtuturo. Tapos um, ano na kami, we've been uh, actively joining exhibits, do, making murals, uh, tapos jo joining contests. And then um, kasi may mga kasabay ako noon sa CMLI who went to uh, UP Diliman Fine Arts. So sabi ko parang gusto ko rin doon pumasok, although yung una kong um, course na gusto sanang kunin, eh, architecture. Kaya lang, kinunvince ako ni Mr. Sena, sabi niya, ilang taong kita tinuruan ng freehand drawing, tapos pagdating mo ng college, ha, gagamit ka ng mga mechanical instrument. So, nung nag-fine arts ako, uh, painting major, diyan ko na naging kaibigan yung mga kagrupo ko, at uh, naging kaibigan ko hanggang ngayon sa art scene yung uh, grupong saling pusa. Yun. So, and then, doon na nag-start lahat ng uh, exposure ko. Yung, namulat na ako pagpasok ko sa UP. Thank you po for sharing. Nako, dapat po pala nating pasalamatan yung mga family members na so, nag-udyok po sa inyo na pumasok into the arts. no Kasi kung hindi po talaga nila binild yun mula kabataan, um, siguro nga naging architect si Sir Elmer or iba po yung mga careers na pinursu natin. So it's one thing po, diba, to be exposed and to have an interest in the arts, but it's also another thing to build a career out of it. So I'm jumping now to the question po na, how did you start your careers? Ano po yung mga naging triggers siguro from ha having an interest into it and to building your careers out of the arts? So siguro po, simulan naman natin ngayon kay Sir Elmer. Sir Elmer, kayo po. Ah, uh, oh, uh, kasi dahil maaga nga yung interest ko sa arts no, na discover ko siya ng maaga. Um, I was uh, considered myself lucky kasi yung parents ko uh, were very encouraging and supportive. Dinahayaan na lang kami na gawin yung gusto namin. Uh, basta ang advice la lang sa akin ng father ko, sabi niya, uh, just uh, give your best kahit ano man yung mapili mong uh, path or a uh, course uh, sa college ganun. Um, so yun talagang importante no. Uh, tapos but the first thing hindi naman talaga ano eh, ang goal ko talaga noon was just to make art. Uh, bonus na lang yun na uh, makabenta ng painting or makatanggap ng ng uh, income from uh, yung mga art projects or illustration jobs. 
So it wasn't really much of a career na niisip ko na balang araw ito yung itutuloy ko. Tapos sa uh, alam mo naman yung misa ni iba, parang hindi ko naman din inisip na parang oh with this uh, path or direction sa art, uh, I'll be famous as the great artist. Ganun. Uh, iniisip ko lang noon, sabi ko makakontribute lang ako ng ano kahit na one artwork na people will remember. Uh, ano na ako doon sa uh, satisfied na ako doon oo so doon ako doon talaga nag uh, nagumpisa at saka uh, isa pa ano eh naranasan ko na rin kasi laitin ako dahil wala akong pera eh. <laughs> kaya i really worked hard no uh, to to pursue my my dreams uh, as an artist no so ayan lagi lang akong sumasali sa mga exhibits no and uh, yung mga camaraderie with other artists it, it also help no na mayroong ganung support that's great po that you really had that support system with you po no how about you sir charlie when did you make the jump po from it being an interest to now having a career out of it well si elmer buting parents niya no supportive kasi chinese It was 40 years ago, sinabi ko, oh, artist ka, naku. Wala yan, walang pera, walang ano. So it's always a struggle um, for, for especially in the Chinese family, business no, is very important, which I understand. But that time, you're rebellious ka rin. Gusto ko rin mag-pursue ng gusto ko. Eh, no? um, so it's, it's really that, that uh, no, I think even my first painting, my experience, my first painting, I said, this is what I wanted. Uh, I think... But I know at that time, it was 1908, 1979, I know that time, it's going to be a long journey. But uh, I said, wow, this is what I wanted. So very focused ako doon, noon pa. But again, um, the challenges is always, it's always been uh, uh, there. And um, I think that, that adds color to our work, that deepens our color in our work uh, because of the experience, because of... Sabi ko nga, uh, for in the sa parents, um, I, I said, how can I explain my work or make other people understand my work? Well, my, even my parents or my father would not understand my work. So that's my ano, main mission. Gusto ko, paki, uh, before, before anything happens to me, he, he, I want him to know that um, I wanted to be an artist. So anyway, timing, then 1990, I got the 13 Artist Award. And at that time, he is very sick. Uh, So I was able to get, get the 13 Artists Award trophy and gave it to him. Uh, parang ganun na, parang sinabi, okay, si Boy, bahala na siya. Gusto siya mag-artist, peace na kami. So I had, a, I had that, that, that mission, I had a mission impossible na naging possible. Uh, because uh, again, I think also, especially, um, very important is you really have to work hard. I, I learned that from my, my father to work hard, no? And again, also, uh, what I learned from my mom is about humility. It's about putting my feet on the ground. I think that, that those things helped me in uh, what I have uh, uh, been doing this journey for the last 40 years. And, mm-hmm. I, and, and I think that um, uh, to prove, again, to prove to the parents uh, that uh, uh, just believe, uh, follow your dreams. No, mm-hmm. I think it's It's easy to say, but that dream is, uh, that journey is really uh, uh, challenging. But uh, life naman is challenging naman talaga eh. Uh, that is for me um, uh, the inspiration of why I, I still keep on doing it. No? And hopefully sharing it to, with my community. That's my goal. Uh, that has been my goal. And that, uh, that's what I've been, uh, been, what I've been doing up to now is really... Um, uh, looking back at my community and and uh, giving it back, you know, uh, I think that's my mission. Thank you, po, for sharing that, Sir Charlie. Ang gandang takeaway ng um, challenges color our work, because like any other career, my challenge naman eh. So um, why not um, just go for it and push for it and use the use the learnings that you get out of it to share to others. How about you, po, Miss Lisa? Ang ko nag-start talaga siya nung college ako. Uh, kasi when I was in college, I was a working student. I was also active in different organizations, uh, specifically uh, 
the Philippine Collegian, that was the, the official student paper uh, of Diliman, uh, as well as cultural organization. So dito, na, uh, dito lumaki yung sense ko of what the community was. I got exposed to other writers, artists, uh, who I am friends with and colleagues with up to now. Um, so it was during that time when I started getting, um, I started publishing, um, um, uh, started contributing to, to different things. So uh, um, I think it was from there yeah. on na, na yeah. nagsimula. Um, malaking tulong yung merong very um, affirming uh, people in your life. Uh, yung, yung parents ko, halimbawa my mother was uh, quite supportive dun sa kung, kung saan ka masaya, kung gusto mo talaga sa sining o kung anumang larangan. Um, uh, dun ka, basta gawin mo yung best mo. So yung nanay ko at tatay ko, ganun yung naging attitude. So malaking bagay yun. Uh, malaking bagay rin yung you find your community of people um, with shared values, tapos shared uh, shared dreams, pare-pareho yung gusto niyo mangyari para sa, uh, sa, hindi lang sa sarili niyo, pero para sa bayan. So it was finding that kind of community early on na uh, I think dun nag-start yung, yung everything. Then later on, um, after I graduated, um, I went into different fields, hindi pa nga sa art, uh, sa non-government work, uh, volunteer work, pero all the while I remained uh, doing freelance uh, writing in particular uh, sa, art, uh, sa art community. So hindi parang uh, even, even as tingin ko, naging curious ako about maraming things in life. Um, and wanted to serve different communities. Pero yung love of art, syempre, it, all was, it was there all throughout. Um, and yung hindi pagbibitiw doon sa pagmamahal sa sining um, was what led me back to, to, to um, UP Fine Arts later on uh, I, when I was invited to, to, to teach uh, art, first art criticism, then later on other subjects dito sa department. So from there, I started going back to school uh, 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 took up my masters and yan, um, just continued serving the community in the same way. Pero it was really in, I think, in college with a very affirming community kung saan ito nagsimula. Thank you po. That's great, no? Na malaking bagay din talaga yung support system sa pagpursue natin ng mga career in the arts. Babalikan po natin yan, yung topic of support system. But what I take from this conversation is Basta mahal mo at gusto mo siyang gawin, you give your best and you push for it. However, we have this question po from Neil Espinosa. Do, um, mahalaga daw po ba na mag-take ng bachelor's in fine arts para makapagsimula ka ng career in the arts? Paano naman po kaya yung mga young artists na hindi afford or wala ang option or iba yung mga kailangang commitments na i-pursue. What do you think po? Um, siguro balikan po natin yung relievo. Miss Lisa, kayo po, what do you think about that? Ako po, uh, yung uh, pagkakaroon ng isang uh, formal degree in the arts, um, yung isang natutunan ko sa, sa UP College of Fine Arts, meeting all of the people here mula from pagiging student to pagiging teacher, is that napaka-diverse ng 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 nature ng artist. Marami um, kumukuha ng second degree, they pursued the arts later in life. Yung iba early on coming from families of artists or meron iba tulad namin na walang arts background pero um, pumasok dito. Um, sobrang diverse and even the community of artists that you meet after, iba-iba rin yung pinanggagalingan. So, uh, sa palagay ko, um, although hindi required <laughs> ang isang degree, syempre malaking, ano, malaking tulong ito, pero hindi ito hanggang para ikaw ay mag ng dreams mo in the arts uh, and yung practice mo. Um, some other students that we have, in fact, here, um, pursued arts first before uh, following through with a degree. Uh, iba't iba yung journey ng bawat isang artist who went through UP Fine Arts and went through the different art schools or who did not even uh, go to school at all. And all of those journeys are beautiful. Uh, yung mahalaga dyan, yung tingin ko, yung um, you really persevere in the journey 
mm-hmm. you really do your best and you give your all for um for the vision that you have kung bakit mahal mo ang sining right there really is ano yun no marami pong impetus sa pagsisimula talaga ng career in the arts and any kind of background is really beautiful and it contributes then dun sa practice mo down the line Sir Charlie, kayo po, what are your thoughts on this? Um, necessary po ba na may fine arts degree or fine arts training? Well, ako hindi na ako nakatapos. <laughs> no, no, I don't think so. I think that the, um, the university is the university where of, of life is you go, you go through every day. That That's the learning there is it's really uh, something. No? Um, I, I would I would agree that hopefully the you have a career, maganda din, no? But me, sa aking experience, I, and I took a fine arts uh, two years and then I did my first one-man show, 1983. Uh, before my, I did my first one-man show, I went to Manila, studied at women's uh, for, I think, one sem. But, and then, para I can stay longer in Manila, I told my, my father I'm going to study sa Philippine School of Interior Design. For interior, kasi we have the furniture business. But during that time, I was going around. I met Bobby, had a Bobby Valenzuela. I would go around galleries. I was able to do a body of work. Came back and did my first one-man show, 1983. So you know, after that, uh, I was 23 years old. Uh, so I was just really pursuing it. I was the passion is so so strong that uh, walang ano na eh, parang one track mind. Eh. It's like. You know, I want this. I want this. I want, but, but I think that's that's very important in guiding. Even if you know, sa iba, you have to be guided by your heart, guided by your heart and your passion that you really love doing this. And um, at that time, it's a bit because I'm an artist based in Bacolod, no. But uh, I always, I'm always proud that uh, I'm, I'm I'm from Bacolod, and all my one man shows they would always since. In the eighties, so they would always. I would always say I was based. I'm based in Bacolod, no? uh, uh, and I find I find it uh, uh, inspiring to to uh, no, to stay in the province. But the, it's it's really challenging to to go mainstream Manila. So it was. I'm lucky that I was able to connect with the uh, Hiraya Gallery. And at that time, Hiraya Gallery, pag naka-exhibit ka dyan, nakapasok ka dyan, talagang ibang ano na yan, parang sinasabi na you're in the right track no talagang mataas yung yung ano yung ano ng standard but you know that that keeps me going uh in terms of uh pursuing my art no and uh, the challenges of basing basing in the region but again um my backbone here in Bacol is my artist friends and my community no it's always been uh, there no uh, uh, so we were able to organize things like Viva 30 years ago, um, tell, um, creating a, a, a festival of Visayan artists because at that time we felt that everything is happening in Manila, but not we, we have no voice here in the Visayas. So we started it with a group, no? uh, uh, Black artists, we started it, and uh, I'm one of the founders who started and, and then you know, parang giving voice to the Visayan artists. That was our goal. So uh, that was 30 years ago. So we were still very young. But uh, I think up to now, um, that that heart of being with the community has been there is quite important to where I am now. It has shaped me. Uh, and I know that um, uh, I can do uh, a lot of things uh, in, the, in, our, in my community. So I, I I put my heart and my mind there and my passion uh, up to now. And now we have uh, our district uh, already, and we have a big, very big space. And we have a lot of artists that, you know, um, parang sinabi na, uh, you build, they come. You know? So yun, yun ang yari. So nga ba pang story Yeah, that's it. Great <laughs> po, no? Parang sana takeaway ng mga nanonood sa atin ngayon na hindi naman talaga necessary as long as you put yeah. your heart and your mind into it. Yeah. And that when you reach, when you have your platform, you share it as well to others who are looking to also establish themselves in the creative industries, no? How about you po, Sir Elmer? What are your thoughts on this concern na 
um, necessary ba ang isang fine arts degree? Mm. Uh, totoo yun. Um, hindi naman necessary, pero kung meron kang degree, it also helps for um, other opportunities. Uh, pero kung ano ka, uh, if your reason mo talaga e eh, financial, kaya hindi ka makapasok sa Bachelor of Fine Arts, kahit naman yung mga self-taught or yung mga out of school uh, youth no uh, nagiging nagkakaroon din sila ng uh, career as an artist no yung iba nga uh, hindi naman fine arts ang course nila pero uh, nagiging artist pa rin sila uh, later on no meron nga akong isang kaibigan uh, kasi uh, kailangan syempre pagbigyan mo yung parents mo sasabihin sa iyo na ito yung course na dapat mong kunin so Um, she first went to business school. Tapos, uh, after business school, nagkaroon siya ng trabaho. Tapos, nung uh, na, kaya na niyang supportahan yung sarili niya, she went back to his first love. Nag-fine arts din siya ulit, no? Para talagang ipagpatuloy niya. At hanggang ngayon, she's uh, a very successful uh, artist. Um, yung kagaya nung nabanggit na ni Charlie, na kahit na rin naman uh, nasa fine arts ka, you also learn outside the campus. No? Uh, kami noon, uh, kami nung kaibigan ko, si Marcos Tignani, uh, after school, no, from Diliman, we would go to Hiraya Gallery and then talk to the curators, no, si Bobby Valenzuela, kasi marami kaming natututunan din sa kanya na hindi namin natututunan sa, sa school. Um, at saka isa pa, if you would read mga art history, even yung mga Filipino artists, even si uh, national artist uh, H.R. Ocampo, wala naman din siyang uh, fine arts degree. But ang important is yung the learning never stops. Talagang kailangan uh, patuloy ka na nagbabasa, nag-aaral, nakikipag-usap sa mga ibang artist for, for advice, no? para marami ka rin matutunan about your art no na hindi siya maging uh, stagnant no parang kailangan continuous yung ano mo uh, growth as an artist tapos um siguro ang ma-advise ko lang din kung talagang um, directly hirap ka na makapag fine arts uh, you, you can uh, enroll in uh, Mr. Sena's class no si Fernando Sena magpumasok sa ka sa kanya sa Buenas Artes uh, Gallery uh, it would only take siguro mga four to six months ang ang course no to take his um, uh, art lessons and then kung nakita nila na magaling ka no the Buenas Art Foundation can give you a scholarship kung saan mong school gusto pumasok if you want to enter UP UST uh, TUP, Women's, or uh, Bulacan State University, uh, they can help you. So, ito rin, meron ding mga ibang mga avenues na to, to pursue if you really want to take up fine arts, no? you can apply for scholarship. At saka isa pa, uh, ang gusto ko lang din i-point out na dito sa, sa field ng, ng visual arts, ang importante dito yung body of work. Yung, 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 yung naging consistent ka dun sa mga output na, na ginawa mo. And it really um, no, represents what, what you're thinking, what your thoughts, and who you are as a person as an, and as an artist. No? Um, nagbabago rin naman kasi yung, yung mga role. Ako, nag-umpisa ako, uh, it was just only painting for myself. Then later on, uh, I was... Uh, using art for the community for for the people no kaya napaka naka, napakalawak ng pwede nating uh, gawin sa sa visual arts thank you po so i guess we've reached a consensus hindi siya importante it's it's helpful but marami ring um, areas where you can start your career at marami ring platforms that you can pursue miss lisa you wanted to add something po Ah, yes, uh, I just wanted to say na of course ano, I I super agree na le- na learning never stops inside or outside of the classroom and um syempre binigyan natin ng emphasis yung natutu- na natin outside of the classroom uh, but inside of the classroom I think ito uh, mahalagang ma 
ma-emphasize rin na what the classroom taught, at least, um, uh, tingin ko was yung love, yung being very aware of how we see, how we make, and of mm. course, inculcating yung pagmamahal sa ating uh, kasaysayan at having a um, appreciation for different disciplines in the arts, sciences, at iba't ibang mga fields of knowledge. So, tingin ko, ito yung, ano, yung isang na-emphasize sa loob ng classroom na, syempre, hindi yan nawawala outside of the classroom. Tuloy-tuloy yung, uh, yung pagkatuto and uh, that's when learning becomes a whole, what they, they call a lifelong process. Uh, kasi yung iba't ibang bagay na to, we, we learn both in and out and mahalagang we ano um uh, mahalaga yun doon sa paghubog ng is ng mga artists yun lang po right thank you po that's very encouraging to hear no sana nga po na yung take off din ng mga nanonood sa atin is that learning is a lifelong process maaring nagsimula siya sa isang school maaring sa iba siya nagsimula pero hindi necessarily na sa isang lugar mo lang din siya mahuhuha though of course th- Training and education from a formal institution is important because it also widens your perspective into things. Marami ring iba pang paraan para matuto. So I guess taking off din po dun sa point ni Ms. Lisa kanina na um, formal education helps you understand how to make things. Uh, meron din po kasi... Uh, if j- just learning a certain style, uh, hindi siya guarantee eh, na... Ano, na that's it no uh, kasi yung style nagmumul it comes from yung different combinations of experiences influences and what you want to say diba it's uh, the different forms that you learn along the way that you explore or innovate and it's also the content yung yung gusto mong sabihin o yung nire-reflect mo or gusto mong baguhin so um, that's very unique to a person or a community and um why certain styles evolve in in the arts are a result of those factors and to syempre kung kinopya mo lang it's learning one part of it how to make it pero uh, eventually you'll have to evolve your own style and or different evolve your own ways of responding maaring lumabas pa nga sa medium or proseso pero uh, that's just one part i think uh, all right, po. Thank you, po, for your insight on that. How about you, Sir Elmer? What are your thoughts on this subject, po? Hmm. Uh, kung uh, estudyante ka, natural lang na may influence oh. teachers mo, tapos sa mga ibang artist, kasi uh, parang art is a way of uh, discovering yourself. Eh. Parang kinikilala mo talaga yung ano mo, yung sarili mo, kung kung saan ka lulugar, no? Uh, yung pagdating sa style um, nasa ano yan eh yung personality mo uh, your background no and uh, your your history uh, kaya dun sa 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 styles no um, marami kang pwedeng matutunan kasi f- from books no lalo na ngayon yung access sa sa visual uh, yung, yung napaka ano na nga eh, overload na nga yung visuals natin no marami kang mga influences na hindi mo minsan may iwasan na uh, maging derivative. Uh, kaya lang, um, dapat niyan, uh, yun nga, yung hindi ka pwedeng uh, kumukopya lang. No? Uh, ang work naman ng isang artist, actually, it's ano eh, a combination of different uh, influences. No? But you also have to uh, inject uh, yourself no dun sa dun sa ginagawa mo um, tapos pati sa mga pagdating naman sa mga styles no makikita mo naman meron yang mga iba't ibang ang mga artists meron mga iba't ibang periods no na they experiment no uh, kailangan lang din talaga what i'm saying is you, you also have to be consistent kung sa umpisa pwede kang lahat ng mga isim subukan mo no pag-aralan mo oo uh, gusto mo kahit na walang paki-alamisim pwede rin <laughs> <laughs> eh, kaya lang uh, kasi ang daming mga mga styles no pero uh, we also encourage na maghanap ka rin ng something uh, homegrown 
no uh, tapos pagdating sa mga ano nga yung yung art styles kailangan consistent no even when you're applying for a solo show no you prepare your portfolio no pag humarap yung ano yung pag pinakita mo yung portfolio mo kailangan makita hindi pwede yung sabihin na nag apply ka ba ng group show o solo show kasi iba pa yung style mo rito sa portfolio mo eh. no so you also have to be consistent no siguro pagdating sa uh, sa, sa technique no sa palette and sa yung yung yung, yung sa, sa technique no uh, same thing nung ano um yung nung nag-decide ako na my first solo show was in 1993 that was the year after i won second prize sa metro bank no uh, sabi ko hindi ko nahihintayin yung maging grand prize ako sa metro bank Mag- kasi at that time i was already uh, i think i was ready and uh, it was the the right time no so pag present mo ng works na ganun kailangan din ano consistent ka uh, but then again no um depende yun sa approach mo mayro mga ibang mga artists like sila sila Federico Aguilar Alquas can jump from figurative to abstraction no but kahit anong uh, gawin nila it it's still Alquas no um so y- yun lang yung kailangan ano ka rin uh, may, may may statement ka sa mga ganung klase ng mga works All right, thank you sir. So three points po pala no. Do not be afraid to explore, but remain consistent and most importantly be authentic. So sana makuha rin po nung yun ng mga nanonood sa atin yung three important points na yun no. How about you sir Charlie? Po? What are your thoughts on this subject? Ma si Emo. Kano talaga eh no? Da da. Yung consistency, I think yung uh scroll when when I first painted parang I think you have to believe in what the image that you created, that you feel that that is you. Until malaman mo yan, it takes years and years. Yung sinasabing consistency. Yung consistency of your world. You believe in that world. You believe in that image that all the influences are there. You get influenced by this realism, whatever, anong ganon. But then you you believe in what you, you, you the image that you you believe that it is true to you that guided me that even despite there are maraming nakita mo iba-ibang you know mga works but you still go back to your own world because you believe in that world i think uh, uh, and then the word consistency for the last 40 years of my life uh, it created now an identity when pag nakita mo that's a charlie ko o pag nakita mo, that's an emo, no? So, it, it took us many, many years very consistently doing, pursuing uh, what we are doing and are constantly learning at the same time, constantly telling your story, uh, constantly, yeah, again, and the work that is very important is the content of what you wanted to share. I think that that becomes clearer as the years, you know, as the years go by, as you pursue your career, you, you then become more intense on that, that image or the constant uh, story or the constant, um, uh, uh, the constant image and story that you are reflecting on who you are, as you said, who you are. And uh, the work would always uh, look at the person. No? Parang you cannot avoid that, that work can connect to that personality. But then again, um, it is really about the story that you wanted to share. For us, for me as an artist, I think uh, I'm, uh, I'm able to, you know, to accept that there's a gift given to you, that, that vision, that image, that vision that is given to you, and you have to really... Um, uh, uh, ano yung parang ituloy mo yung image you you also you also develop you also uh, as at, as the year goes by you're quite focused that you cannot be swayed by this is what is selling or this is what is 
the, what is uh, what is ano ito ito yung ito yung ngayon yung style or ano just really focus on what you believe in and again we go back to what is true to you uh, i think that is very important and yung consistently through the years yeah All right, thank you, sir. So, talaga, it takes a lot of exploration to find yourself and to find your own voice and your own style in this industry. And um, meron lang din po mga concerns si mga artists about exploration. Of course, exploration takes a lot of courage and involves a lot of taking risks. And kasama na rin po yung struggle doon. Um, we have a question from Jesus Henotiva. Um, ano po yung mga share nila sa mga young contemporary, contemporary artists at sa art community, lalo na yung mga nakaranas ng dark times ngayon dahil sa pandemic? Hindi pa po lahat nakakabalik sa art scene because of financial status na naging priority muna as the basic essential. So what are your thoughts on this po? Siguro let's start with Sir Elmer. Uh, yeah, oo. Mahirap nga yung pinagdaanan ng mga artist no, nung the past two years. O, although uh, sa mga galleries naman, hindi naman daw sila masyadong naapekto kasi uh, parang tuloy pa rin yung mga o- online uh, art market. No? Uh, dito lang, pa, sa mga ibang mga artist na you should seek uh, other uh, opportunities, no? like uh, pwede kayong lumapit for for grants no for uh, residency programs um tapos uh, y- yung y- you still continue uh, creating no uh, tapos uh, kung kinakailangan yung uh, magturo no or uh, seek other livelihoods to support your art hindi naman masama yun. All right. Thank you po, Sir Elmer, for sharing your insight on this discuss- on that topic. How about you po, Ms. Lisa? What can you say about um, how can artists pick themselves up, especially during this very challenging times? Ms. Lisa, I think naka-mute lang po sila. Sorry, nag-unmute ako. Salam. No problem po. Ano, um, nabanggit yung phrase na dark times to describe itong period na pinagdadaanan uh, natin no? as a whole country and as, as individuals. And totoo maraming nangyari sa ating sining sa panahong ito. Iba't iba yung kwento. Uh, pero sa tingin ko, walang sayang na panahon. Kung tumigil, kung naantala, kung nagtuloy-tuloy, kung, kung nagdiretso sa pag, paglikha. Uh, walang kaso kasi walang sayang na panahon. Yung period na to, it planted a seed, a seed of um, something in us all. Whether that's to think about the situation that we have, that the country faces, or where we want to um, devote our life to, or what things are really important. And um, it's already there. Kaya kung ano man yung naranasan natin, depression, repression, pigati protesta um, isolation all of these ano to um uh, makakat uh, our part uh, let's take comfort and inspiration in this experience uh, we try to survive and at the same time uh, we look back to this and learn how it also um, reflects doon sa sining na maaring likhain sa mga susunod na pat na, na panahon Uh, there's a lot of ways to to also continue despite the challenges um, and sana ano sana hindi mawala ng lakas ng loob uh, kahit ganito yung ano yung danas ng ng ating country kasi um, walang sayang tama Salamat po Miss Lisa. I am reminded of this I am reminded of this quote from from Bertolt Brecht kung hindi po ako nagkakamali na there will always be singing even in the dark times. So tuloy-tuloy lang din po talaga tayo sa paglikha. So Sir Charlie, kayo po, what are your thoughts on this subject naman po? How can well, artists uh, pick themselves yeah. up? Well, um I can share you a story that the last two years 
um, we've been quite, um, it, it's challenging to all of us. It's a collective um, experience, this, this worldwide collective experience, this lockdown, this pandemic. But we were able to navigate, um, sharing you lang in the last two years we did, <clears throat> we were able to navigate um, the, the, the pandemic in a very uh, collective way. Because at that time, uh, nine, nine, 2019, we are preparing for the... Uh, 2020, we're preparing for the Viva hosting in Bacolod for the 30th year. So we planned that for four years. And then suddenly, uh, here comes the lockdown. So yung lahat na, lahat na plano namin talagang erase. We don't know what to do, but we wanted to celebrate 30 years of Viva. And uh, we have... Uh, we have the art district and we were able to create um, uh, ang yung, yung maganda sa art district is we have a lot of open space that's why even during the lockdown we were able to organize artists to come here because there's a lot of open space that we can collaborate so what we did was we we we, we have a lot of activities with a group of artists doing murals in the art district putting installation works and doing fundraising art art we call it art heels we're able to 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 in the early on in the 20 in, in 2020 we're able to really focus on well uh, uh, we were saying that uh, oh ano nat, ano magawa natin sa community so we are really uh the challenge for us was we were able to do navigate it well you know in a sense that um, uh, we were able to do fundraising. We were able to do. Uh, we were able to do. Still do the viva through virtual. Where where wala kaming example. Ano ba yun? But we all all we are all just really uh, navigating the landscape of that time. But we were able to pursue and uh, go on with that thirtieth uh, year of viva through virtual. But at the same time, we were using the exhibition space uh, during the during 2020, maybe later of 2020, we were able to open an exhibition called Art and Isolation because all the artists were begging, Charlie, we want to do to express what we felt, no? So we were able to still do it, um, do exhibitions. Uh, of course, limited yung tao makapasok, but we know that the um, it has it it was. The artists need really need to show and you know create their works and and hopefully I think we, we had we have two shows uh, during pandemic um, the group shows that I think able to help also the young people that not to lose hope now when they go to the gallery they can see themselves now they're not alone in terms of the pandemic the artist is also uh, uh, being really uh, deeply uh, affected. So lumalabas sa trabaho nila. So I think um, the dark times we were able to, uh, uh, we can see the best of the artists too in the community. Na artist is also engaging in, in not just painters, but we were also thinking about musicians. We are also thinking about uh, people who are working around the art district. So we're, we're, you know, uh, we were able to navigate it um, with a torch of light, probably. Maliit lang. We were able to do it. But I know it's not, we're not the only one. There are a lot of other artists that, you know, has been during the dark times, uh, the last two and a half years, we're able to do a lot of things too. Because at that time, I couldn't hear, the, uh, I can have the information of uh, fundraising in, in Manila, artists fundraising in Mindanao. There's, there's so many so you can also see that dark times that young artists did their part, their role, and I, I, I and I'm very proud that uh, the you know the artist is always has always the biggest art. Oh, Charlie or the or or, or the Emong donate works for this, no question asked. No, uh, we as artists are very involved in our community with our works. We can do something about it. We can sell it. We can buy grocery. We can have. We can buy PPEs. You know? So now we are involved as artists, not just as artists in the studio, but in a community. And that's how we were able to navigate the last two years. 
Thank yeah. you, sir. And allow me this opportunity also to thank you, Paul, for all the good work that you've done, Ms. Lisa and Sir M. Wong, for contributing to um, the community during this very difficult times. Tama nga po, no? Um, even in difficult times, there is a role that we have to play and that there is still purpose to be found even in, um, in the darkness. So speaking of... Um, navigating our roles po. Meron po tayong humahabol na question about navigation. So, from Brail Katage, he asked, how do you keep the balance between the concept of being consistent and having the courage to explore and try things out? So, this is related to our conversation earlier po, no? of, of exploring and being consistent. So, how do we find the balance in that po? Uh, what do you think, Ms. Lisa? ko it's ano yung challenge is to be consistently courageous <laughs> because change is change happens uh, whether that's a style um, whether that's a subject matter um, and even how people artists engage uh, with each other and with the public pero it's always pushing the boundaries and always taking risks no? whether that's speaking out whether that is um, uh, pushing yung innovation further uh, and whether that's taking a stand uh, around many things na dapat talagang tindigan, um, that's where uh, evolution, quote-unquote, happens and development happens. And in which case, that's consistent. Kung ano. <laughs> Mahalaga yung consistent sa moral compass, I think. And that's, ano, for me, that's what matters. All right, thank you po. No? Consistently explore. So, huwag matakot, subukan din ang subukan. Um, but still, always know your compass in this journey. So, thank you for that po, Ms. Lisa. How about you, Sir Elmer? How do you balance po um, the exploration and remaining consistent? Mm -hmm. Kasi pagka yung pagdating sa exploration, uh, meron akong uh, yung, uh, uh, particular work na gusto kong i-exhaust yung uh, visual ideas gusto kong i-exhaust yung possibility nung nung material uh, so kailangan i ano mo lang yon uh, tuloy-tuloy lang yung 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 uh, pag-create no and then pero hindi rin kailangan maging hindrance if you want to explore uh, another medium no uh, kaya ako hindi ako nag-stick sa ano lang eh, yung sa isang medium no uh, para hindi kasi may tendency nga na siguro parang iniisip mo pag consistent ka ay boring na yata tong ano ko eh ginagawa ko no uh, kaya lang yun nga rin para hindi ka maging stagnant you can explore other uh, materials no uh, in your in your art making no so kailangan um, ganun lang yung ano mo yung yung stages when you're uh, pursuing an idea. All right. Thank you po, Sir Elmer. So sa mga nanonood po ngayon, take notes. These are the things that you can do to try to be consistent while also being consistently courageous. So, um, Sir Charlie, your thoughts on the subject po? Courageous po. Tama. Dapat courageous. Ka. <laughs> the challenge is emotional and mental and physical. Uh, the challenge there, no? Uh, in, in, you, you check. I think consistency naman is the, ako, uh, it's just me. Ang consistency ko is I, I, I try to tell that story as how I see it. Uh, that is very consistent. And then I would jump into the whim, whimsical world, which is I'm a very consistent too. Uh, it, you know, it's, it's, it balances. No? And I do sculptures. I do installation. Now I do installation works with collaboration with other artists. So it becomes more interesting. Uh, like um, um, in by Saturday, uh, next week I'll be having an installation work uh, in the government center uh, uh, with uh, with ten you know with ten artists doing collaboration. Um, so um, uh, I think consistent lang yung personal ko consistent yung gusto ko ipalabas. Uh, and yung parang exploration is exploring with other artists. Uh, I think it's also very interesting because of the of, of where I am now with the art gallery and 
Uh, and that's why I want to change the word gallery. Uh, I wanted to call it uh, Orange Playground. So you mm-hmm. wanted this. Para mga bata tayo lahat. You know, explore, enjoy, and then tell your story, but you are enjoying. And then right now we're, we're preparing for a big show for October 15. And we close the gallery when you have like 30 artists coming in and then collaborating. And I don't know what's going to happen, but it's a playground where so we're playing. That's innovation. Consistently, we've been doing that consistently. And then I've been running the gallery for 18 years. So that's my investment. 18 years of knowing these guys, uh, working with them. Uh, they know the old man. Oh, sige na nga, Charlie. Babayaan, matanda na yan eh. <laughs> so anyway. So it's, it's a great, uh, para sa akin yung innovation, yung exploration is working with other artists. Uh, 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 it, it's very, very interesting. Very interesting. Yeah. Thank you, Sir Charlie. I'll pick up from that last point that you mentioned po, no? about working with others. So artists aren't just solitary beings. They also uh-huh. revolve in ex- uh, they also revolve, they belong in communities. So um, how do we connect and how do we build good lasting relationships with the communities around us and the communities we belong to? Especially since marami pong artists yung concerned kasi sinasabi nila hindi naman daw sila magaling mag-socialize or they're introverts or they find it hard to put themselves out there. So, Sir Elmer, kayo po, what are your thoughts on this uh, subject? Oh, ako kasi marami akong mga pinagdaanan na grupo eh. Kasi nung sa panahon pa ni Sena, na lagi kami dun sa Tondo. So, kasama ko yung mga kabataang Tondo Art Group na mga ano yan eh, mga sakristan yung mga membro nung ano, na-discovery lang ni Mr. Sena sa simbahan. Uh, so, ano sila? Kasakasama ko sa mga mga art sessions, so yung mga on-the-spot painting namin, tapos hanggang sa, nung sumama ako sa, sa saling pusa, kasi pag uh, fine arts ka, uh, dito sa school, you uh, develop your your peers, no? uh, ito na rin yung mga mag encourage sa'yo, uh, tutulong sa'yo, parang I think it is also important to be part of a community or uh, an art group, kasi uh, ito yung uh, magbibigay sa iyo ng, ng support eh. uh, doon sa mga hindi gawa uh, as an individual artist no? makakatulong yung mga ano mo mga peers and uh, contemporaries no? so, hindi naman kinakailangan uh, magaling ka sa socialan or busy yung uh, social calendar mo sa party gabi-gabi hanggang uh, pamorningan yung ganoon <laughs> eh so kailangan ano uh, meron kang mga ibang mga grupo who would also ano help you develop no so kasi sa tingin ko ano yan eh kami magkakasama kaya rin nakabuti yung yung sasaling pusa uh, umangat pag may umaangat sumasabay yung mga ibang mga uh, mga members no uh, kaya nung sumali kami dun sa Metro Bank uh, for 4 years Hindi kami nananalo kasi puro mixed media pero nung pagdating ng mga 87 nung straight painting na halos uh, na dominate na ng puro ano uh, saling pusa members yung uh, mga major major prices. So uh, I think uh, it, it it's also good you know to to build a, a community no uh, kasi um, ano siya eh, kagaya rin nung nung nag-umpisa ako yung natutunan ko uh, dahil tinuruan ako ni Mr. Sena ng uh, libre, no? uh, nagtuturo din ako ng libre sa mga ibang mga, mga kabataan. Uh, you also share what you've uh, experienced as an artist. No? Uh, kung nakatulong yun sa sarili ko bilang, bilang tao, bilang artist, i-impart mo din yun sa mga ibang mga uh, members of the community na uh, yung ano medyo hirap din sa access na na maging maging artist no uh, lalo na dito sa sa, sa amin sa Sambales no um, kakaunti ang ang ano ng, ng market for for artist but meron na rin nagbi-build na rin kami ng mga ano ng uh, audience no uh, kaya that's why uh, we're building the Casa San Miguel yung uh, Pasilyo Press uh, access for a printmaking studio no para mapalawak din yung interest ng mga mga ibang mga artist dito sa 
sa Tambales, sa aming community. All right, thank you, sir. So, ang ganda, no? You find your tribe talaga and that when you found the people, the right people to support you and to be around you, magiging effortless na yung connection and that when you've been, when you find your tribe nga, you also contribute to expanding it and that you contribute to allowing other artists to be a part of it. Napakaganda nga po noon. Sana isa nga yun sa mga maalala rin ng mga nanonood sa atin ngayon. Uh, how about you, Miss Lisa? What are your thoughts on the subject po? So, uh, I, I agree 101% dun sa need for community within the uh, as cultural workers and as arts workers. Um, nag, I belong to an organization named the Concerned Artists of the Philippines. So, dun pa lang talaga, mahalaga yung, yung idea ng isang community of people and artists who care about others. Um, mm-hmm. Yung Concerned Artists of the Philippines o CAP, Nag-start yan noong 1983, nung, um, uh, that was as a result of uh, uh, campaigning against um, uh, against censorship during martial law. And mahalaga yung role of, ng community in building that kind of, ano, um, that sense of uh, uh, the need to fight for freedom of speech and um, freedom of the press. So 1983 ang that's all, that's how many years ago um uh, uh, ilang dekada na yon but the organization has been has survived uh, since that time uh, many of us joined it at different points in our life um pero yung isang pick up ko from being with the community of artists in CAP is that kahit anong generation uh, different generations of Filipino artists um always affirm the need for community Um, and solidarity whatever the historical period is kahit anong panahon yan panahon ng martial law um, 80s, 90s, even up to today napakahalaga ng, ng role ng solidarity and community and I'm also with the um, community at the university uh, at the College of Fine Arts where we call ourselves a community kasi the students, the teachers the staff um and the alumni are, are are all part of a community that really um, nurtures the artists that ano that pass through its halls and beyond so um, hindi dapat siya na, hindi siya nawala at hindi dapat siya mawala uh, in our um, as we as we grow as artists All right. Thank you po, Ms. Lisa. So one approach po pala no, is finding people who share the same values, who share in the same beliefs um, because it anchors all of you and it guides all of you to the same direction. So thank you for sharing that po. No? Sir Charlie, kayo po, what are your thoughts on this question po? Same. same uh, going back to what I said, it's the community no, that is very important to me at this point of time. Um, because uh, this opportunity that has what we have right now is uh, uh, a very supportive owner of the of the art district uh, has given us a platform for 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 sharing our story to the to the community and we are really ex- we are really taking good care of that and, and we're trying our best to learn we are trying our best to to get everybody on board Uh, and then to really celebrate that you know surviving pandemic uh, and then going through and then moving on uh, and we I get my strength to with with my community I get strength with working with young artists uh, uh, and then we're trying to see and work together on paano natin gawin ito paano natin ano so it's really nice and I really I, I'm approach is really like uh, Let's eat together. Let's more like 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 uh, like have coffee together. Like you know, it's 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 where we create relationship. For me, relationship within 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 artist community is very important. Because uh, even though how big is my space, without the artist community supporting it, it's just a space. See, so how important is the relationship within artists in the community and pursuing. Your own goal, your personal goal, their own personal goal, 
we guide it, we guide each other, we inspire each other. I think that's that's the way to go. No, uh, just my take maybe, <laughs> but that's how I am, I'm experiencing right now. Uh, my art community uh, really is it is where we, it is really um, uh, hopefully that will also inspire other group in the Visayas that they really need to unite each other. It, it, I think respect is very important. Respect, even how young or old, if he has something to say, it's respect that is uh, really for me very important. It's and then how you earn respect is also it's also um, very you know very hard to achieve. No, uh, but it takes years for people to believe in what you're doing, and you have to just to do it. No. Um, if, if they can smell you a mile away if you have some idea or hindi tama ito parang ganun no it takes today it takes a great time of collaboration of not knowing each other uh becomes uh, i think in the future the most important that would become important not just the individual we've been always been me me why not us? Why not everybody join us? No, I think that is very important. That's why when I say uh, art district, Charlie, wow, ang daming pera, may art district, may orange gallery. Hindi, hindi, hindi. I, the, 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 the owner of the gallery, it, it's like he owns the bus. I'm just the bus driver. So who wants to join the journey? That's how I, pro I approach it. Thank you, sir. Thank you for sharing that insight. No, para palang any other relationship, you invest on it, de ba? It takes time, it takes effort, and that you really have to work on it. Because the community is also a place where you learn, where you develop, and where you improve. So, speaking of developing and improving, um, as artists, po, as creatives, what other platforms did you explore, po? or opportunities that you pursued to develop in your practice. Uh, siguro po simulan natin with Ms. Lisa. Develop practice. Uh, platforms to develop practice. Tama yes. Ba? All right. Um, Siyempre, yung, yung uh, for me, it start, yung foundation started in school uh, because that's where a lot of the theory, the history, and um, getting to uh, know other people from different backgrounds at pakikipagkapwa began. So uh, the first platform for me was the traditional avenues like the schools, uh, institutions, cultural institutions, which also provided some uh, some degree of support. No? Halimbawa, residencies or workshops, uh, which were um, nakatulong kasi nabibigyan ka ng espasyo to grow using uh, and through those platforms. Uh, mahalaga rin yung, yung uh, salitang community doon sa platforms for developing kasi it was with um, arts, arts organizations or artist collectives uh, and different artist groups where the learning process continued. And last, um, Gusto kong i-acknowledge yung role of the other um, aspect or uh, yung ibang ibig sabihin ng salitang community which is uh, different people from walks of life. Uh, malaki yung naging role of learning to uh, not just listening to the stories of, of people from different walks of life like for instance indigenous peoples, farmers, workers um, but also working with them in solidarity. Uh, uh, on advocacies and towards common goals. Mar maraming pwedeng matutunan from the life of, of communities uh, and peoples uh, and sectors like them. And uh, para sa akin, mahalagang um, I really acknowledge the role of these communities in how I develop. Kasi how I develop, that's one person uh, and people helping me. Pero yung larger pool of life experiences and lessons, mas, I think mas yumayaman when there's a bigger pool of people involved. Yun lang. Alright. Thank you po, Ms. Lisa, for sharing that. So, bumabalik din po talaga tayo dun sa idea na learning and developing isn't restricted inside a formal institution or it doesn't necessarily have to follow na it's entirely just about learning 
creativity or the arts, you also have to immerse yourself to the bigger world, finding and understanding a bigger context to what you do. Thank you for that. And we hope our viewers took notes at maalala nila yon after this um, discussion. So, uh, Sir Elmer, how about you? What are your thoughts on the subject? Oh, yes. Kasi... Uh, ako rin, as an artist, I, I grew up before the internet. Eh. Uh, walang access sa ano, yung World Wide Web. No? Wala pang mga computers. No? Uh, kaya ako, dahil idol ko yung uh, eldest na kapatid ko, uh, who, who, who was a former DFA uh, consul, si Kuya Freddy kasi ano siya, uh, matalino, palabasa. Tapos lahat ng mga Uh, mga em- mga library sa mga embassies eh ano siya mem- mem- membership card so th- that was my influence so i would always go to yung mga thomas jefferson library uh, british council the uh, gitti institute uh, lahat ng mga ibang pwedeng uh, sources no na na pwede kong palawakin yung uh, knowledge ko sa art uh, eh, kasi Pupunta ka naman sa mga national bookstore, hindi mo mabukas dahil mga naka-plastic lahat ng mga art books, ganun. <laughs> hindi, hindi mo ma- makita yung mga gusto mong ma- makita. And then when I open a book, uh, I always uh, check the the acknowledgement, no? kung kaninong collection yan. And I would make it a point to uh, experience and see the actual work. Kaya I think uh, that is also what I would like to to stress no to the younger artists to the younger generation na don't limit yourself to uh, the screen of your phone or the screen of your laptop uh, you should uh ay mga platforms yan to to go to the galleries uh, go to the museums uh, kasi yan mayroong mga uh, mga talks no yung mga forums na kung ano pa yung mga pwede mong matutunan maliban sa mga tinuturo ng mga mga teacher sa sa school no and then uh, also if you you go out of um, you know yung mga art spaces na ganito uh, you, you get to meet uh, persons no uh, mga the, the right people na who would uh, help you no uh, hindi lang sa sa field ng ng arts no Uh, meron dyan yung mga filmmakers, photographers, writers, and uh, musicians. Tapos you can uh, uh, collab- collaborate with them. No? Maraming mga mga avenues na pwede mong gamitin yung, yung, art, yung, ano mo, yung art mo. And uh, I think what is also important is yung interacting with uh, their artists. Uh, kasi nung... Uh, sumali ako sa saling pusa no uh, masaya yung interaction namin eh bawat isa mayroong mga inputs no marami ako na natututunan sa sa kanila maliban dun sa mga tinuturo ng mga uh, professors ko sa sa art school no uh, and yun din uh, isang mahalagang bagay din yun para ma-expand at saka ma-develop mo yung iyong uh, skills and uh, knowledge as an artist and uh, you, you also talk to yung mga uh, uh, curators ganyan uh, para ma-share din nila yung kanilang mga experiences no all right thank you po sir for sharing that so isang mahalagang experience then to um, get to know the institutions that are out there to help support you as a creative and to learn from them and to maging masigasig din no, sa pag-attend sa mga workshops, lectures, sa mga discussions. Kasi it's a source of uh, knowledge. Also, uh, finding art groups who share the same practice so you can learn from them um, and really be... Uh, love a love of learning din talaga yung mag, magtutulak sa yo so mm-hmm. sir charlie how about you what are your thoughts on this po well i, I have a unique situation kasi I'm, i'm an artist i have an artist run space so uh the need yung sinasabi yung lahat ng need na yung artist talk so every time we have a show here 
we try to have an artist talk, which we invite um, young artists, students from the school to come, engage with the artists exhibiting here. We also do, uh, we have a, we call it safe house. It's a small theater, good for 30. We, now we've been focusing on uh, promoting filmmakers, directors after the film. They would engage with people watching the film. So now I have a situation that I can uh, I can help uh, all the need, ng pangkailangan ng mga young artists. So we have a nice platform right now here that they can come engage with us, engage with the, with the other artists uh, that are around here. Uh, in art district, we have like uh, two artists who would have an exhibition, uh, you know, in, in Ore. So, so there is a lot of things right now, which is quite unique in, in my situation right now that um, I'm now the one organizing uh, things that, um, uh, that, that, that can help the community of artists. Like recently we had uh, the residency with Alwin Remilio, a residency with Portia, the winner of the Purita Kala. So it, I would engage and they would stay in, our, in Bohol, in artistic. And then we would gather all writers who would like to learn or know about. No, so we're trying our best to really enhance uh, and then inspire and then inform and then uh, engage in talking and sharing and having coffee with me here and with all the other artists. I think uh, it's it's quite unique right now. Uh, but but all all I think the focus is really uh, artist focus. Kami. Now hopefully we can we can we can help them through to the space that we have. Uh, so, and then we would engage in working collaboration with work. So it's quite unique, but I think it's a good, it's a good experience. Um, one way it's just really helping, trying to, to, trying to, trying to improve, trying to inspire, no? um, especially to inspire artists that we can talk together, you know, mag-usap tayo, mag, you know, if, if there's a problem, we can can we solve it? Can we do something? And so, maganda yung situation right now for me. I think uh, it's I'm lucky to have a good team uh, with me, and at the same time, uh, I'm happy that the uh, the artist is um, in here locally is uh, engaging with me uh, in terms of uh, in terms of projects. Uh, that's where I get my 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 strength. You no, know? and and I know that. You know, in the end of the day, you know, as you grow older, you, you it's always good to share. I think uh, because, and I I would always say na, you know, I'm I'm ready to give the key to the next generation, the next generation that would help run what we have been doing for the last twenty years. No, so I really wanted, you know, to to get involved, with, you know, everybody, if we can, you no, know, and that's. That's the mission. Mission impossible. Hindi na po masyadong impossible. And that's why I'm mission impossible. Pwedeng possible. Pwedeng possible. Tom Cruise. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> Tom Cruise. Uh, Tom, Tom Cruise. Oh, oh. I don't know yan. But, but yeah, it's really engaging. And if you put your heart and mind, I think I said, sinasabi mo one guy said, uh, your Charlie, your vision is fueled by your passion. Maybe. Maybe that's an inspiration to other artists. Uh, well, your vision should be fueled by your passion. If that's your strength. Uh, whether my typhoon, or the classic typhoon. Diba? It's about sharing. There's so much negative in this world. We need positive. We need something, you know, to inspire. That is for me, my mission. To inspire. To put light on the darkness, and the artist community is the one doing that, not just me. I'm just a bus driver. <laughs> Thank yeah. you, sir. Sir Elmer, po would like to add something. Uh, gusto ko lang idagdag sa yung sa topic na yun nga parang ang pagiging visual artist. It's it's not just developing your skill. No, mm. kagaya sabi ni Lisa ito nung uh, pag nasa school ka. Uh, you're also engaged in other uh, academic subjects, no? Na yung science, engineering, 
no uh, makakatulong din yan bilang bilang artist no uh, kaya pag nakikipag-interact ka no hindi lang sa mga visual artists you also talk to art critics writers and uh, curators uh, who can help you and uh, you know um, give you the language no uh, kagaya ng mga ibang mga terminologies na pag iniyang ka ng uh, artist statement Uh, makakaano ka ma- madali mong maipapaliwanag yung iyong mga objectives pagdating sa iyong sa iyong art no? and of course it it doesn't uh, kat kailangan continuous pa rin yung developing mo sa sa skill mo but uh, uh, I, i would say na the form and content is always uh, important and kailangan ano yan uh, balance hindi lang purely aesthetics. All right. Thank you po, sir. This has been a very enriching conversation and ako rin mismo ang dami kong napulot na points um, to ponder on and things to follow and things to embody. Um, siguro po, let's end or let's wrap up this discussion with our last question. Um, what do you consider po as the most important skill or perhaps it's a mindset that creatives can embody so that they can be successful in their practice? So, um, simulan po siguro natin with Sir Charlie. Oh, um, uh, ayun nga eh. uh, your vision should be fueled by your passion. Uh, ano ni, um, It's um, it's important. No, it's important that uh, uh, you have to believe in what you are. You, you you have to believe. Focus on what you you believe that uh, this. You know, as as an artist, you have your role to play. No, uh, that is important. I think. Um, and um, Yun. I think that's that's it. I've been I've been I've been sharing my 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 experience in life already. So that's it for me. I've been I, I think I have talked enough. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you yeah, so much. Yeah. It's been so generous sharing your wisdom and experience today. I I'm sure a lot of young artists watching now. Um, are inspired by the stories that you share. So um, let's move on to Miss Lisa. Miss Lisa, what do you think po is the most important skill or mindset that creatives can embody? Um, for me, I think it's curiosity. Discipline, it's very important in honing and seeing curiosity through, but I think it starts, it always starts with curiosity. Um, you're wondering uh, why things are this way. Um, yung yung sense of imagination curiosity is very important to be able to pursue that and kasi it's from curiosity where the next step happens diba doon nag-emerge yun eh yung uh, sense of empathy sen- yung love of learning yung yung solidarity it all starts with curiosity uh, and curiosity builds that ethical compass that Um, that's so important to artists and cultural workers. So I think that's a very important skill or mindset that that all of us should should really never lose sight of. Yung curiosity about the world, about um, about others, and what can we do about it. All right. Thank you, Pomis Lisa. Definitely, we'll keep that in mind to stay curious. Because that will fuel a lot of other things in your practice that will be very helpful in your careers. So thank you for sharing that, Po. And then finally, Sir Elmer, um, what do you think is the most important um, skill or mindset for young artists to embody? Yeah, oh, yung inspiration uh, madale, kasi nasa paligid mo lang, may inspire ka na. But the most important thing is the motivation, no? Uh, the devotion and dedication to uh, give time and effort uh, to your craft, no? to your art making. No? Kasi mahaba rin yung uh, 24 hours. Eh, no? uh, isipin mo lang kung if, if you just devote two hours of your time, 
meron ka ng magagawang artwork niyan. No? So, uh, kailangan din, uh, yan, meron kang, uh, you have the, the patience and uh, kailangan, ano rin, ang mindset mo rin yan is always um, yung hard work. Kasi, pag meron ka niyan, uh, for sure, magkakaroon ka ng maraming uh, opportunities. No? And, uh, always, uh, you know, um, make your, ano, parang great works. No? Kailangan, eh, meron kang quality control uh, with, with, with what you put out in the world. At saka isa pa, uh, isipin natin palagi kung ano ba yung uh, pwede nating i-contribute sa, sa history or sa Philippine art. Uh, kasi, ano tayo eh, nakahilera tayo sa mga ibang mga magagaling na mga mga artist no na nauna sa sa atin no? so tayo kailangan din paano tayo uh, pupuesto no para maging uh, katulad nila all right maraming salamat po so we have um, three i guess important words no na to sum up this discussion at ito yung pinaka important din na mind- mindset for artists to take away after this discussion so um, vision curiosity and dedication to your craft so hopefully um, this discussion inspired a lot of a lot of young creatives and that they take away that they leave this event feeling encouraged to pursue careers in the arts. So maraming salamat po. Maraming maraming salamat po, Sir Charlie, Miss Lisa, Sir Elmer. Thank you for spending your afternoon with us and for again being so generous with your stories and your insight. Maraming maraming salamat po. At nagpapasalamat din po ang maids sa mga nanonood sa amin ngayon. Thank you to everyone who sent in their questions and comments. We are happy to share customized bio phone holders and exclusive made art boxes from K Essentials to the following supporters. Neil Espinosa, Eli Cabangon, Brael Katage, and Jesus Henotiba. And I guess that's it for this month's Art Made Public. We hope today's episode helped give you that push to turn your passion into a career. The opportunities are plenty and we hope you guys find the courage to pursue them. But for now, let's continue the Quintuhan online. Like and follow us on Facebook and Instagram at Metro Bank Art and Design. You may also find us on Spotify at Art Made Public so you can listen to podcast versions of our webinars. And if you haven't yet, please visit our Facebook page and watch the main awarding ceremony, which is up on that page, and learn more about the awardees and the winning works for this year's painting and sculpture recognition program. So, and if you would like to request a certificate for attending today's event, please, please send us a message or visit our comment section for the request form. Again, thank you so much to everyone for always supporting MAID. We truly, truly appreciate you for joining us from our first episode in January up to today. And it has been our sincerest pleasure to have you and that we hope you've been inspired by all the discussions we've had to pursue the boundless future uh, just in front of you. So please keep safe and we'll see you again very soon. Maraming salamat po.
Maaaring baliwalain ang mga simpleng pananakit ng katawan at pangangati ng balat, pero paniguradong makakaapekto ito sa pang-araw-araw na gawain. Naglalakad patungo opisina, sabay sasakit ang paa, nahuli-tuli sa oras. Rumoronda sa trabaho nang biglang sumakit ang ulo, na antala tuloy sa pag-ikot. Sumagot ng telepono nang masamid sa ubo. Ahem! Masayang nakasakay sa kotse habang papunta sa pinaka-aabang ang bakasyon. Tapos inatake ng pagkahino. Nako! Namundok para masilayan ang mga bituin, kaso napapak naman ang lamok. Hala! Naglalaro ng paboritong sports nang biglang magalusan. Hay nako! Mahimbing na natutulog nang bulabugin ng iyak ni Bunso dahil sa sakit ng kanyang chan. Paano na? Buong araw na gumawa ng gawaing bahay o kaya na may namukid maghapon. Kaya't sumakit ang buong katawan lalo na ang likod kinagabihan. Talagang kahit anong ingat at lakas mo, natural lang na nangyayari ang mga bagay na ganito. Buti na lang may katingko ointment. Ang katingko ointment ay nagbibigay ginhawa sa sakit ng ulo, sakit ng chan, ubo at sipon at iba pang mga sakit ng katawan. Tulong sa pagpapakalma at pangangati at sa mabilis na paggaling ng mga kagat ng lamo. Ipahid ang katingko ointment sa mga apektadong lugar tatlo hanggang apat na beses sa isang araw hanggang guminhaw ang pakiramdam at tuluyang gumaling. Siguraduhin laging may bitbit na katingko ointment at hindi mo alam kung kailan mo ito kakailanganin. Katingko ointment Tulong sa pagbigay ng ginhawa sa sakit at pangangati. Welcome back to New Day. We've got all the news you need and more. We still have here with us members of the National Women's Football Team who just won the title at the AFF Women's Championship. Dadalo si President-elect Bongbong Marcos sa Asia-Pacific Economic Cooperation o Apex Summit sa Thailand. Ngayong No Smoking Awareness Month, alamin natin kung paano tuluyang magkukwit. A South Commuter Railway linking Metro Manila and Laguna goes full steam ahead. All eyes on Mount Bulusan in Sorsogon Province. State volcanologists say it is uncertain when the volcano will erupt again. Panawagan sa pagtanggal ng buwis sa langis sa pagpapatupad ng dagdag pasahe sa jeep, umaaray ang mga commuter dito. It's all systems go for the first State of the Nation address of President Bongbong Marcos at the Batasang Pambansa on July 25th. Humingi na ng saklolo ang grupo ng mga panadero. Apektado na rin daw ang kanilang industriya. Ayon sa Labor Department, inaprubahan na ng National Wages Productivity Commission ang 50 pesos na dagdag sahod. Music 